20 strangest looking mammals. The mammal class is full of strange creatures, animals you may or may not have ever seen before. Here are some that just look out of this world. Number 20, the long-beaked echidna. If it looks like a mix of a hedgehog, platypus, and anteater, then what you're staring at is probably an echidna. There are now three living species of echidnas, though there used to be about five, with all three now considered critically endangered. And although they are mammals, they are one of those mammals that lay eggs, just to settle some confusion. Not to be mixed up with the short-beaked echidna, long-beaked echidnas live in dens and are characterized not only by their longer snouts, but also their shorter spines in its fur. Number 19, dugong. Though they're related, a dugong is not a manatee. Instead, they're a much lesser known marine mammal and are distinct with their wide, round mouths. These are a medium-sized beast that reside in warmer coastal waters, such as those found near Australia, South Asia, East Africa, and even the Northern Pacific, with an extinct species once living in the Mediterranean. The name dugong is Tagalog, deriving from the Malay phrase for Lady of the Sea, and is also known as Stellar's Cow. Number 18, the maned wolf. You see this creature and you probably think it's a fox for the way its coloring is, and then you see its size and think, well, maybe it's actually a wolf. Honestly, it's neither. It is the only species in its golden dog genus and are found in the grasslands of Paraguay, Bolivia, Brazil, and Argentina. Adults weigh up to 23 kilograms with heights of up to 90 centimeters. At this height, they are the tallest in the family of canids, which include other animals such as wolves, foxes, jackals, dingoes, and your regular domestic dogs. Number 17, the Irrawaddy Dolphin. This sleepy looking fellow is an Irrawaddy Dolphin, and yes, we know it's not the bottlenose one you are used to seeing. Instead, these are the ones found in parts of Southeast Asia in the Bay of Bengal. They do look a bit like belugas, but the Irrawaddy is a creature all unto its own. They're blow holes are closer to their left side and towards the front. An adult Irrawaddy can weigh up to 200 kilograms, and the largest size ever recorded was a male found in Thailand that measured 2.75 meters. What's the most interesting about the Irrawaddy is probably their relationship to humans, as they are known by fishers to drive fish into their nets when tapping a wooden key against the boats. Number 16, the Lesser Mouse Deer. Also known as the Malay Chevrotrain, Train, this tiny mammal often confuses those who come across it. Is it a mouse or is it a deer? Actually, the lesser mouse deer is much more closely related to pigs, despite their appearance and size, but they do belong in a family of their own. When it comes to the Asian species of mouse deer, adults will grow up to 17 pounds, while the African species will usually be anywhere between 15 all the way up to 35 pounds. They can be found in regions such as West and Central Africa, as well as South and Southeast Asia. Number 15, Nutria. These huge rodents are also called river rats, or the koipu, depending on where you're from. Adults can weigh up to 14 pounds, so anyone who has a deep phobia when it comes to rodents should probably steer clear of this one. The nutria are semi-aquatic rodents that can be found in North and South America, Europe, Africa, and Asia. However, they are only native to South America. They are known for looking like huge beavers or muskrats, characterized mostly by their orange teeth. The largest adults weigh around 16 to 17 kilograms and measure 45 centimeters long, tail included. Number 14, star-nosed mole. Though most people do know what a star-nosed mole looks like, it's still strange to see one up close. Though they seem terrifying, these species of moles are actually quite small. Their strange noses are what are known as Imer's organs and is the star-nosed mole's touch organ that consists of over 25,000 sensory receptors. What's cooler is that their fur is water repellent and their tails serve as fat storage for breeding season. These wetland inhabiting mammals are usually found in parts of Northeast United States and Eastern Canada. Canada. Number 13, Elephant Shrew. The Elephant Shrew are also insectivorous mammals and are named such for their long noses. They come in sizes that range from 10 all the way up to 30 centimeters and are native to the continent of Africa. Unlike a lot of mammals, but quite similarly to humans, the female Elephant Shrew will exhibit signs of going through a menstrual cycle, complete with a period that actually lasts a few days. And just because they're small, don't expect to be able to catch sight of one or catch one so easily. The Elephant Shrew is known to be one of the fastest small mammals in the world. Number 12, Indian Giant Squirrel. It's like the regular squirrel's longer-tailed, more fashionable cousin. As you can infer from their name, this type of tree squirrel is native to India. 
Their behavior is known to be quite shy, and with predators like large birds and leopards going after them, it's easy to understand why. Like a lot of squirrels, the Indian giant squirrel is a big source of dispersing seeds, which makes it one of the most significant parts of the ecosystem. Number 11. Hollis's Cat Known as one of the most expressive animals in the world, the Pallas's cat is a small, wild cat that closer resembles what most of us see as domestic cats. And that's probably because Pallas's cat and a regular domestic cat are similar in size, though their legs are a little shorter than other cats, making them appear stouter with their thick and fluffy fur. They can be found in the grasslands and montane steppes in Central Asia and are named after German naturalist Peter Simon Pallas. Number 10. Sunda Flying Lemur The Sunda Flying Lemur can be be found in regions such as Thailand, Malaysia, Singapore, and Indonesia. They measure up to 42 centimeters or 17 inches and can be found gliding through forested areas as they are really adept climbers. However, once a Sunda flying lemur falls to the ground, it's pretty much helpless as its physique is not built for running. They mostly eat leaves and lick tree bark in order to drink some water and get their nutrients. Number 9. Wrinkle-Faced Bat This bat is tailless, though that's not the physical feature it's best known for. Clearly. And you can be sure which bats are male, since the wrinkles are much more evident on the faces of males in comparison to female wrinkle-faced bats. But don't be alarmed at the sight of one. They may look more Dracula than other bats, but they are frugivorous animals, which means they only eat fruit. Number 8. Rock Hyrax The weirdest fact about a rock hyrax is that it's less closely related to rodents and more closely related to elephants. These terrestrial mammals can be found in parts of the Middle East and Africa and are known in South Africa as dassies. These are the types of animals that build their homes, which are usually rocks with holes dug into the rocks. Number 7. Silky Anteater Inhabiting parts of South and Central America are these puffy, fluffy animals, also known as pygmy anteaters. The silky anteaters are much more golden and fuzzy than the more common anteater family members, with shorter snouts than people are used to seeing on this kind of animal. They are the smallest of the anteaters, measuring up to 9.4 inches long and weighing as light as 14 ounces. Number 6. Platypus This is one creature whose appearance has confused humans for a long, long time. The duck-billed platypus is so named for its nose and mouth that closely resembles that of a bird instead of a mammal, and it looks as if a beaver and a duck had mated. In fact, when a preserved platypus was introduced to Western scientists, people thought it was a fake, sewn together from parts of other animals. They even lay eggs, unlike most mammals, and are endemic to Eastern Australia. Number 5. Angora Rabbit They are the oldest type of domestic rabbit and were popular pets for royalty in Europe. The Angora Rabbit was bred to have silky wool, which can grow ridiculously long and make the Angora Rabbit appear like a huge cotton ball. Despite being so fluffy, they are known to not cause allergies to humans, unlike some other animals. Number 4. The Long-Eared Jerboa These nocturnal rodents are adored for their small stature and huge ears. They also have long hind legs as their mode of movement is jumping. Found in the Palearctic zone, there isn't much known about the long-eared jerboa. They measure about 70 millimeters long, though are about 150 millimeters when you count their tails. But don't be too excited about how adorable a long-eared jerboa can seem. They have thin, white incisors in their mouth, which they use to chew on the various insects and capture their prey by leaping high into the air. Number 3. Lowland Streaked Tenrec The Lowland Streaked Tenrec are not only known for their odd appearance, but are also famous for the way they produce sound which is known as stridulation, wherein they rub parts of their bodies together to make the sound, and it's something more commonly done by snakes and other insects. These mammals are found solely on the island of Madagascar and are active both during the day and night. Number 2. Eastern Tube-Nosed Bat Bats are already a strange sight to see, both at a distance and when they're swarming together or even close up. The Eastern Tube-Nosed Bat is native to northeastern Australia and are exceptionally well known for their unique physical characteristics. First, it's their tube nose that makes them stand out from other bats along with their brown protruding eyes and yellow spots all over their fur. Number 1. Pangolin the scales that adorn the pangolin are called keratin scales, as they're made of the same stuff as human nails, and they're the only mammals to have such a thing on their bodies. Their scales are rather soft when they are first born, but harden once they reach adulthood, which sounds about right. Pangolins are insectivorous, eating up to 200 grams of insects on a daily basis. The nocturnal mammal resides in hollow trees, though other species like to live underground. You can find a pangolin in parts of South and Southeast Asia and Africa. 